<laughs> you just nailed me with that thing. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, what'd you have there, Peyton? A skip it. A uh, skip it. Who remembers bought, skip it? Anybody remember we, those? We bought from a yard sale and. Uh, yeah, we went yard sailing again. This is week number two. Put it down a little bit. Okay. You go, girl. So yeah, like I said, this was week number two and we have a lot of stuff to show you. We went to a community yard sale and you can do a lot of houses in a community yard sale at the same time. So they're kind of nice to go to. So let's see what we got. Let's just start off with these. These are like dolls. My wife usually uh, does these. I don't do too much with these. So she'll buy these and sell them if they're good. She'll sell them for a lot of money or if they're common, she'll just put them in a lot. But like there's one of Cookie Swirl. See? And I think she's going for like 30 bucks alone. So we probably paid, I don't know, I bet you paid 20 bucks for all of those dolls. And there's a couple accessories. You got the Barbie jet ski and some desk thing. I think that goes with Cookie. Found a Pokemon Monopoly game and some really cool glasses. Let's see if I can get Kim to try these on. Oh, Actually, we'll throw them on Jess. Those look way better on you. Kim, yeah, I was gonna have you cute. put the glasses on, but mom put them on first. So those are sweet, 50 Who wore cents. them better? Uh, I looked pretty good in them actually, so I don't know. No. I looked pretty good. We'll let Cam try them. <laughs> Cam definitely looks better Pika. in them. Pika. Definitely. Pika. Sorry, Pika. you lose. Sorry. Pika. I'm getting back to the video. Okay, let's go back here. So yeah, Pokemon Monopoly. Um, I gave the guy uh, three bucks for this thing. It is complete actually too. It's got everything in there. So that's pretty cool. It's got all the little figurines. So that's probably worth 20 bucks or so. Um, I found a big thing of sandpaper. I don't know, I've never sold sandpaper before, but a lot of this is made in the USA, and it's probably going to be pretty decent. Let's see if I can find the price tag here. For all that sandpaper I paid, one dollar. So it's gotta be worth more than a buck. Found some vintage tools. We got an old craftsman hammer, which I thought was pretty cool. I gave the lady four bucks for that. Pretty neat. And then a Cornwell wrench and a Mac Tools wrench. And I gave uh, six bucks for both of those, so that's pretty good because those are probably worth 20 bucks a piece. Found a couple of old Nylint toys from the 60s. Uh, this one is actually a Ford Bronco, which is kind of cool because they just came out with the Bronco and uh, they're pretty popular right now. Uh, that's probably worth about 30, 40 bucks. It's not in the best condition, but it's still sellable. Somebody will want that. And then this is called Jungle Wagon. I be, uh, paid three bucks for that. It's probably worth 10 or 12. Uh, a couple of Mario toys. I can't pass up Nintendo stuff. Always got to get the Mario toys. These are what, maybe 10 inch or so? They were 50 cents a piece. Luckily, I have my wife with me when we yard sale because she saw these shoes and I never heard of them. They're called Hoka. I've never heard of them, but she says they're good running shoes and they were five bucks. And she actually already sold these. We listed these before we made the video and we paid five bucks and she sold these on eBay already for 60 bucks. So we got to get those shipped out tomorrow. Um, a Chi, I don't know if this is a flattener or a straightener, I have no idea. Um, but anyway, she paid two bucks, it's worth like 15 to 20. And then the P90X workout, it's all brand new sealed, so that's probably worth 10, 15 bucks, I would assume. I did find some video games. Um, this box of Wii stuff, I gave lady three bucks. A couple of crappy games. Um, remote, oh, a broken remote now. <laughs> and some other junk in there. Pretty dirty, pretty gross, but the remote and nunchuck might be worth 15 bucks or so. Found the next box one. Uh, this is the S, 500 gigabyte, a couple controllers. I think this is the teal one. This is kind of a cool controller. Yeah. And then this remote came with a chat headset adapter. Modern Warfare, Gears of War 5, Battlefield 1, Red Dead 2, Rainbow Siege, Rainbow Six Siege. So um, I got the guy down 175 bucks on that. So that was pretty cool. Uh, there was another guy had some retro games. And he wanted $100 for just the 64 with some games. I got uh, WCW NWO Revenge, Diddy Kong, and one of my favorite 64 games, uh, 007. And then the three junk controllers, they're all non branded. And then I got him to throw in some GameCube games for that 100 bucks. So, not the greatest, but that's probably worth 150 or so. Found a box of rock band stuff left over. Somebody already bought the drums and the guitars, but there was a box of this stuff. The pedal, mic, and some sticks. Gave lady three bucks for that, so. 
Easy, easy risk there for three bucks. Found some Minecraft toys that my son wants to keep, of course. Got an Ender Dragon, uh, bow and arrow, enchanted. Um, what's this thing? Um, a pickaxe that turns into a sword. Show me. So, it's a pickaxe and it's foam. Okay. And then... Whoa! And then you got, a what, a diamond sword? That's pretty sweet. I'll probably have to let you keep one of those, huh? I guess so. Cut into the profits. Oh, well. Anytime I can pick up Nerf guns for a dollar or less, I'll buy those as well. So there's a ton of Nerf guns, and a lot of times I'll just lot these out, just sell 10 or 20 of them at a time if they're not worth a ton. <laughs> kind of the same thing with monster trucks and Hot Wheels. Um, if I can pay 10 cents for Hot Wheels or just buy a big box of them for a cheap price, I'll pick those up. I can usually sell around 50 Hot Wheels for around 30 bucks or so. And then the monster trucks too. I think I had, had like 70 of these at the end of the last season and I sold them for like 80 bucks or something. So those add up. Also found this JBL speaker uh, for five bucks with remote. I think these are going for like 30 or so, 30 or 40 bucks. And then the last thing we found, I gave the guy 50 bucks for this, I talked him down, is a uh, Samsung tablet. And I don't know much about these because I don't use them. I think it's upside down. Yeah, so it works. It's like brand new. When I looked, they're going for like 180, 190 bucks. So I got the little stylus here. So that was kind of a cool find, especially for only 50 bucks. So that will wrap up week two of yard sailing. So that was like two days, and I don't know how many yard sales we went to. Quite a bit with the neighborhood yard sales. So anyway, that's what we found this week. And we will be back next week and see what we find. If you like these videos, let us know in the comments because they are a little bit of work, but not too much. So anyway, when are we going to see them, Kim? In the next video. In the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.